So hey y'all, I wanted to, I noticed I haven't been putting a lot of cooking in my videos. It's just been crazy busy here. So I'm going to go ahead and show y'all what I'm cooking today. We have a lot going on, a lot going on. Just to let you know, I'm making headway or I don't know how to say it. I'm making some movements on my documenting my cooking recipes. And when I do, I think I will share them. I do have a, a blog. A blog excuse me and I will share them on my blog whenever I get to that point it's just taking me a while to capture everything so tonight I'm going to be making hold on let me get the baby something so sorry y'all let's see zoom 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 I'm gonna be making Jamaican jerk chicken pasta which is very similar to Cajun chicken pasta or actually Rasta pasta so I have a lot going on here like I said you don't have to do everything by the book I change up my recipes all the time but I find that this works best for me now I do have two chicken breasts in the fridge um, just as a tip to avoid cross-contamination at least for me personally I do my veggies first cut up my all my veggies and everything first then I move on to the chicken I don't even take meat out until this is cleared and out of the way sometimes you may see something there but I'm very very picky about that I want to make sure we ain't running around with salmon vanilla girl so rasta pasta Jamaican jerk chick pasta whatever <laughs> my point is is that it's gonna be spicy it's gonna be good it's gonna be full of flavor so what I have going on I have a bunch of peppers I'll go through everything and if you have any questions let me know so with the chicken itself, once I'm done with everything, I will be seasoning it up pretty well. Uh, so yeah, I know I'm all over the place. Let's start over here. So I have some corkscrew pasta. You can use any type of pasta you like, penne. Um, you can use fettuccine. I think, in my opinion, if you're making a pasta with sauce, you want to use a type of pasta that's going to hold the sauce. So in my, I, I try to stay away from things like angel hair pasta. Um, thin spaghetti. Do do uh, linguine, do fettuccine, do penne, do bow tie pasta. I absolutely love corkscrew pasta, okay? I have some heavy cream here, some butter, onion powder, garlic powder, crushed red pepper. This is Jamaican jerk seasoning, um, paprika, black pepper. I do have salt over here on the back end, but I'm just using it as needed, okay? Because some of the stuff I'm using has sodium in it. I have some flour. Now these green beans are for a side dish I'm making. I'm gonna be doing green beans with some grape tomato there. I have some parsley, garlic, chicken bouillon, some um, green onions or scallions. I have all different type of peppers here that I will be julienne style, slicing up very thinly. So we have one large, jalapeno, one red bell pepper, green, orange, orange, and yellow. Y'all, I think most of you know by now, this is the same thing. The bell pepper is the same thing. It's just when they pick it depends on the color, okay? Um, so a lot of people think that they're all different. My husband's like, I don't like, I said it's the same type of pepper. You being tricked by the color. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead, cut up all my veggies. I like to place them in these bowls. I take my time cooking because I love to cook, okay? It's, it's, just, it's just relaxing to me. But I'll try to come in stages, come back on stages and show y'all what I'm doing. All right, y'all, this is my, hold on. Ooh, I almost got a sneeze. This is my chicken well seasoned, girl, well seasoned. Now, it seems like a lot, but I'm gonna mix this up some and probably add some more later on. Look, I'm the type, when I use, when I look at a recipe, I typically double up the season. I'm, see, I'm cooking by taste. Those recipes don't have enough seasoning for me, baby. So, um, season this chicken breast. I butterflied it. Butterfly mean that you split the chicken breast in, in half. So, with two chicken breasts, I now have four. It's going to cook quicker. It's going to be nice and juicy, okay? So, I'm going to mush this around a little bit. <laughs> mush. I'm going to blend this properly. I'm going to place it in the refrigerator to marinate for at least 15 to 20 minutes. All right. So, this is my water for the pasta. Now, um... The chicken bouillon, I added one tablespoon of bouillon, it's probably not enough uh, water, to my um, water here. Now, I always boil, I, I would say 75% of the time, I always put chicken bouillon in my water. And it just makes it so much flavor. From when I'm boiling pasta, I should say, it just makes it so flavorful, y'all. So, I'm um, going to add a little bit more water in here because I'm going to cook the entire box of pasta. And this is basically going to kind of be a one-pot meal because pasta is going to go in there, grill the chicken on the side, but everything else is going to go in this heavy pot here once it's done, okay? Mm-hmm.
Let me turn this off. All right, so I've drained off most of the water from this pasta. About one fourth of a cup is left in there because it's going to act as a thickening agent. Not that I need it with the heavy cream. Went ahead and added some more seasonings, okay? Let me tell you how to make succulent, moist chicken breast. Typically for me, I would turn this off. Excuse me. I would finish this in the oven, but we have a pasta in the oven. So what I'm going to do, cover it with the lid. I'm going to turn it off. It's been cooking now for about eight minutes. I'm gonna set the timer to eight more minutes. Sorry. Girl, yeah, it, it, it's the liquor, hold on. All right, eight minutes, <laughs> eight minutes. Hold on, baby. It's off and then once it's done, or once eight minutes is done, I'm gonna take the lid off, see if it's done. Hold on, baby, see if it's done. If it's not, put it under the, under the broiler for like a minute or so, it should be done. this supposed to be this week's video or I'm not even doing vlogs every week now I just don't have time it has to be every two weeks so let me just clarify some things about Jay because I'm just speaking in code and not necessarily speaking in code it doesn't make any damn sense what I'm saying so overall summarize it and I'll put this at the beginning and then you'll see all the foolery coming up in bits and pieces as I'm going through emotions over the past two weeks which by the way it's the very end of october i will be uploading this particular vlog at the end of october okay so jb is struggling with school on different levels we did have or well, i had a parent teacher conference with his teacher it's been now a week and he went down in every category when i said he was failing the first time that was the um report we got like that was the first one we got now i've gotten another one since we've done this since i'm doing this vlog we've gotten another one since then um and he has gone down in every category he has gone down in every subject he has gone down he is in 70s in two of the sub i guess categories when it comes to english and i'm just like what the hell so you know i'm talking to him he, he's to only be six years old, he's so unmotivated. And he's the one thing he says is he's bored. And so when a child at this age, or any age, is, to me is saying that they're bored, that's to me that means they're not challenged. Um, it does not necessarily mean they don't like school, because he'll say that. But, and he loves to learn, but he's just not challenged enough in this particular school, in the classroom. Now, upon speaking with his teacher at the parent teacher conference, she did let me know that they are changing the structure, which I will be, some of this will be redundative. We, some of this would be repetitive. I'm just letting you know. Um, they're changing the layout of the classroom. So what I had hoped to do was to find another school for my child and switch him maybe in um, March next year and my husband you know he's like i don't know if that's a good idea you know i'm like well what do we what do we do then it's just so it's so frustrating i'm try, trying hard not to curse it is very frustrating jb takes everything literal literal so if the question says sammy had 10 cook no this is going sammy had 10 computers uh three of them were destroyed how many computers does he have left draw a picture JB will spend 15 minutes drawing 10 computers, 10 very detailed computers. And I'm like, JB, just draw 10 circles. Just try to draw 10 sticks to figure out. So because of that, if I were to sit him there, it will take him, this is not exaggerating, it would take him 30 to 45 minutes to do three math questions and to read a poem. He gets so off focus. He will take everything literal. He doesn't want to do the questions going straight. He wants to do this one, that one, and this one, or this one, that one. And when I tell you I have no patience, I have no patience. This is why I, I wouldn't be able to homeschool. I have zero patience. Y'all see me have patience with JB on cam because that's what you that's what I chose choose to show you. It's the time I'm being patient. But 
down to two schools y'all so if it works out you know and he could get into the Montessori school great if not I will be speaking with his teacher more than likely after the after the holidays and I will not be approaching her with the notion that you know what my my son is bored what are you not doing because I don't want she, they're already stressed out with work but it, it's going to be a um what would you suggest at this point what else could we be doing at home what can we be doing in addition at school um can i sit in on a couple of classes oh yeah we we have to get you have to get into this stuff early and start this um this habit of being inclusive in your child's education that's how i feel good morning good morning good morning you guys <clears throat> girl it's early in the morning um oh y'all it's been a whirlwind of a week it is Saturday. I um, we have just one thing to do. We have an outdoor festival that we're going to later on. I don't think I'm going to film that because it's going to be very crowded. Um, yeah, it's just going to be too crowded. And I need my hands free to help JB. So, yeah, it's getting to a point to the point to where I don't film throughout the week vlogging that much. I just don't have time, and I just don't want to a lot of the times. Um, I wanna stay focused on the things I need to do. My to-do list is getting longer and longer. We are getting, typically around this time, we're getting, things start to slow down at work as far as client goes. But now, I'm on projects for internal stuff. So, I know I said I would do Vlogmas. <sighs> That's gonna be hard to do. Um, yeah, I think I will, uh, I'll give y'all this. I will vlog more often, but my vlog, this won't be every day. It will probably be three to four times a week, even that stretch. And I'm just, it, it's getting busy for me at home, life, and work. And that's a priority over this YouTube stuff. This is a hobby, okay? Um, yeah, that's what's going on. Today I do have a hair video to do hence the background i'm not sure if i like this yellow background y'all because i have yellow undertones in my skin it's making me look different on cam i have both actually but it's making me look different on cam um i may go back to the gray yeah i think i will actually i don't even think i <sighs> jb just woke up i gotta do his hair today that may be a video hey pumpkin I'm glad that you're finally getting up. Hey, you guys. Look, I switched to these black frames because it's cooler weather out here now. It's cooler weather everywhere. But I thought that these glasses wouldn't work because I couldn't. When I first was wearing them, they were making me dizzy. Then I'm thinking, girl, you're switching your glasses in the middle of the day. Don't do that. Do it the next morning. So, y'all... Let me explain something real quick because it's not going to make any sense. I had to delete some footage in the middle of this vlog because, well, I didn't upload it. I was boohooing and crying because um, it has to do with JB. He is not doing well in school. He is failing a couple of subtopics, especially in um, subjects, I should say, especially in English. Sorry, y'all. He keeps interrupting me. Um... And so he's he tells me like every day since he started school, I was hoping he would adjust better. And the reason why I'm concerned is because his boredness, his I really not focus is affecting his work. Some of the other kids, when I spoken to their parents, they're like, yeah, or their mothers specifically, they're like, yeah, um, yeah, my child doesn't like school either, but he's doing good. JV's not. It's just heartbreaking because I can tell, you know, my child is smart. You know, he's not above average. He will sit back and watch things unravel before jumping in, which I, which I really do admire. He gets that from his daddy, <laughs> his father. So we are interviewing. We're doing school tours starting next week, actually. And if not, then I need to really speak with the principal and or teacher. I already had a teacher com teacher parent conference. And, but I'm not at the position mentally where I could homeschool, but we will be pulling him out before middle school to homeschool. She said, right now, he is so high energy. When I tell you this child is always up there, 
it is exhausting and i do everything by myself still at this moment and y'all i do i know i get comments every now and i cannot well can my husband do this he's not here girl he's not here to help <laughs> like i guess i have to repeat this over and over my husband even sees jb maybe twice a week and when he when he is here he does help he takes jb to places he helps him or tell him to run well basically tell him to run his bath water helps him with his homework you know stuff that that helps um because he is off probably once once every two weeks during the day daytime isn't that crazy every other time it's on the weekend so hey you guys i know girl it's all types of stuff going on um if you hear any screaming or yelling i'm at jb school um yeah i'm in a better mood today i've just been just i've been on an emotional roller coaster <clears throat> Just a little bit stress, you know, work is getting busy. It's always busy this time of the year, but it's really busy going on now. Y'all sorry, the, the light is off. Is that a little bit better? Let me lean back some. Yeah, that's better. Um, <clears throat> I also was in a bit of a mood because, um, my neighbors, and a bit, a bit of a mood when I found out the story about Cupcake. I'm not trying to be funny. <clears throat> the baby, um, what is her name, y'all? <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Camille McKinney disappeared almost seven days ago while attending a birthday party. She was there apparently either with her, I think it was her 11-year-old cousin or brother. That's still, whatever. So, uh, when I tell you I broke down, it, I, I knew that, you know, after four or five days, they wouldn't find the baby alive. But to discard her like she was trash is absolutely heartbreaking. She's only three years old. Two people have been charged in her murder. This is out in Alabama. Two people have been charged out in Alabama and what sickens me to my core, besides the fact that they discorded her body like she was nothing, like she was trash, that she wasn't a human being. Um, there are, yeah, there are demonic spirits at play. I don't care what anyone says. That a real human being would not do something like that. So, um, what breaks my heart is the one guy had child pornography on his phone. So there is no telling what she had to endure before she died. And it just breaks my heart. I just don't understand why, why you have to prey on someone who is absolutely defenseless. It, it's just... Do I, we, and I know we would never understand that. So, um, y'all moving on from that. That really, that was a real big trigger. I mean, it, that's just horrible. Just absolutely horrible. They should get the death. They, they shouldn't even like try those people. They, you know, clearly one of them confessed to it. They need to go ahead and, you know, they don't deserve to live. In other words, um, on to some healthier, <laughs> healthier, uh, more positive news it is the fall time y'all hold on let me fix this this light very good now you can see me girl um it is the fall season so that means fall festivals uh we had our first quote-unquote fall thing last week i didn't record it because i just wasn't in the mood to record and plus it was really crowded there um <coughs> jb school is having their fall festival this there's actually two fall festivals going on friday night or friday but when we did that last year, I was tired. So I'm only going to do the uh, school festival. And then in two more weeks, not don't really have anything going on Saturday. Try to, I'm going to try to go to church on Sunday because JB had a fever this past Sunday. And I think it was due to the flu shot. I really do. Um, yeah, it was like 102. No other symptoms either. So anyway, um, November 2nd, I have a festival. It's an event, excuse me, Melanin, what is it called? Melanin Moms Natural Expo. So I'm excited to go to that. So yeah, yeah, this is the time when we do a lot of outdoor activities. We do activities anyway, but we really want to focus on being outdoors because it, when I tell you it is nice, it is so beautiful and so calming and just great weather out here in Phoenix this time of the year. This is where the snowbirds come in. Actually, the snowbirds started coming in a long time ago, child. But this is when they really, you know, hit the marker around this time. So y'all, let me get off this this camera and get home and get some work done, because it's getting crazy. Reach for your, for your mouth, baby.
<laughs> Is that good, JB? It is. Jamie. Okay. This is your classroom. Your classroom is closed, as it should be. confusing but I wanted to uh, come back on it's the end of October we have a couple of things going on work is crazy um, my good not good friend my friend that I eat with every now and then Miss Yolanda her ass decided to take a leave an actual leave cuz I'm checking at my job you have like a little we have Skype and you can see when someone has been offline and it says been offline 14 days then I check again, 16 days. Today is 27 days. So I text her last week and I was like, hey sis, how are you doing? I see that you've been offline for 14 days. This was like two weeks ago, excuse me. She's like, yeah, it was a bit much. I took a leave. <laughs> and that was it. She's just very cold to the point. Cool. So I sent her a message today. I'm like, girl, what is going on? I see, you know, I hope things are well. You want me to come over and do your hair? <laughs> I really did say that. She's like, you know what? We'll eat soon. We'll, we'll have lunch pretty soon. I promise. I'm like, girl. So I hope things are well with her. Y'all yeah, like to check up on people to make sure things are going okay. She's one of the few people that I speak to out here. And we work we work for the same company. We don't work together, but we do work for the same company. Um, Speaking, I don't want to talk about work because work be boring, huh? Let's talk about something else. Um, Hair. Let's talk about our hair real quick. When we're probably going to end the vlog on this hair. Y'all... I have, I'm looking over here. Let's let's pan over here. I have one, two, three. Let me show y'all. Hold on. All right. So this week I need to review one of these. Thank you so much to Helen for sending me these deep conditioners, sis. I really appreciate you. She sent me um Sultanicals and Camille Rose. And I will be reviewing both of them with Discover Natural had left a comment saying that her I believe so she said that this one does really good on her daughter's hair and her daughter's her daughter has 4C hair. So I'm reviewing this, trying this today. Now when I'm trying a product in a week, you probably won't see the video for another two or three weeks. Keep that in mind. Okay, keep that in mind. So Afrostatic Curl Elastic Deep Conditioning Treat. That's coming up. And then for a style, I'm gonna be using y'all remember this stuff? This shit was like, okay, Vivian, this stuff was like what, like $15, $18? The gold echo salad? Girl, please. I got this for $4 at Target. But it was really hard for me to try to find a leave-in conditioner or something that it will um, mix well with. And guess what mixed well with it? You'll be surprised. Curl Cocktail. Jane Carter Curls to Go. I did not like this product, but Miss Arlette told me that I need to use this with an oil and really work it in my strands and I'll work. This is coming this week, meaning I'm, I'm trying it this week. Then one of you was all up in my comments about this Pure Clean Fortifying in Conditioner with Aloe Extract by Gonier Fictis. I will be reviewing that. And I know y'all, this is, the only reason why is because I have to get into the shower, okay? I have to get into the shower. I don't feel like my titties wet right now. So, Detox, okay, I'm so sorry. VO5 Detox Weightless Conditioner and Shampoo. But when I tell you this shampoo is the shiznits, a little bit goes a long way. And I've already used this twice. I absolutely, matter of fact, I think I'm going to go to CVS. Is it CVS? CVS and just get all of them. Because I don't see them anywhere else. 
And then last but not least, we have Camille Rose, our, no, Oud Rich Infusion Moisture Treatment, the recipe for beauty. Sorry y'all, I know y'all really can't see this because it's focusing on my face. Now some stuff that I bought. I didn't need it, but I bought it anyway. Um, Aunt Jackie's Curl La La Defining Curl Custard. <clears throat> I'm thinking of doing a comparison with, hold on, let me show you. So I like to compare products that are very, very similar. So I'm thinking of comparing this with, let me look at it and see. I'm opening up two other, mm, yeah. I was thinking about Talia Wajid Curl Cream. However, it's gonna have to be the Miel. The Miel is more of a jelly-like. So I'm gonna do a comparison, I think, of these two. Okay? And then I found, <laughs> why, do I get, why do I do this to myself? I bought at the Dollar Tree, Softy Styling Gel Argan Oil. I bought like a couple of these. Maybe I want to do a washing a later on, y'all. You never know. Don't judge me, okay? So that's what's coming up. So I'm trying to push out, like I said, six reviews, um, two style videos. And yeah, y'all, well, they'll take us to the end of the year and we'll see what next year holds for us. All right, y'all, that is it for this vlog. Y'all take care, okay? Bye.